you guys went over there and celebrated with your fellow students. What did that feel like to go over there and in that moment? It was great, man. Um, to have like such a crowd that we did today, you know, um, it was great. We were feeding off of them. You know, they were screaming. They were in there the whole time for us. So it was only right that we went and celebrated with them. Uh, it was a great feeling for sure. Chris, uh, you had or over here. Uh, you had you were one for five in the first half, four turnovers. How'd you kind of turn things around the second and stay confident, especially shooting from three? Um, just worrying about the next play. Uh, that's all it is. You know, you can't you can't be worrying about the last play or the last half or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? So, just looking forward to the next play and just trying to be there for my team. That's all it was. You guys, Mick was just in here. I was just kind of sure you guys heard describing. You guys kind of finding your defensive identity as this kind of gradual process that it wasn't just an overnight thing. Could you guys kind of go back and describe what that was like and when you guys felt maybe, okay, we are a good defensive team and, you know, we can win games like this? Um, nothing really changed in the way we were practicing or playing in practice. We went hard every single day. We, we knew what we had to do. It's just sometimes it takes a little bit for it to just all come together in a game. And, you know, I can't tell you when it happened or, like, what game. But I just know it's it's happening right now, and and we're 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 all loving it right now. What was it like to see Tiger have the confidence to take that shot? He was, he was 0 for 10 at that point, and he stuck with it and made a shot that was yeah. very important. I mean, yeah, I was super excited for him. I was happy, you know. I mean, he was um something happened with his hand or something. He was a little injured, so I was just so surprised that, you know, what I mean. But at the end of the day. We all had confidence in him, you know. Like Chris said, we don't worry about what, what happened in the past. We all look forward to the next play. So we was all just genuinely excited for him. Hi, May. Uh, the celebration there with the student section at the end, it's your first year in college. Was this kind of like a good way to cap off the, the home season by joining your fellow students out there? Definitely. It was definitely a great way to, you know, cap off the season. First season here at UCLA, get to play in Pauly. It was great. The crowd was there, you know, the entire time from the beginning. And it was just, it was fun to celebrate with them, get, get with them, and you know, hopefully it was fun for them too. So yeah, it, it was a great time. Cody, you were only two of three from the field, but you were seven of eight from the free throw line. You know, how big were, you know, uh, how, how big is that for your confidence? Uh, and Coach talked about you're just the hardest worker when it comes to free throws. What was it like out there? Um, it was great, you know, to go for seven for eight. I wish I was eight for eight, but I missed one of them. But, um, you know, my teammates just kept confidence in me, the coaches, everybody. And, um, you know, I work on my game a lot, and, and I work on my free throws a lot. So I know sooner or later they're going to start falling. It was just a matter of, you know, confidence and seeing it go in and, you know, making it a, a continuous thing. The, the defensive identity you guys have right now, how much does it help you? I mean, obviously you won a game tonight where I think you would probably say, acknowledge you didn't play your best basketball as a team. How much does that help you? kind of, you know, compensate for other things not going well because of that style? <clears throat> um, it's simple, man. Defense wins. Um, you look at the NBA, even best team, you know, in the Eastern Conference is the Bucks. They're number one team in defense. It's that simple. <laughs> Chris, uh, coach talked about how you guys were able to turn it up late in the game because they weren't <clears throat> in the bonus yet. Yeah. You had fouls to go. How much do you think uh, that might have uh, rattled them in terms of they had those three turnovers in a row? Um, it's big. You know, when you have fouls to give, you can get aggressive. Um, they were in the bonus, so they were trying to play passively, you know, letting us get to our spots, which was, you know, hurting them. So when you can play aggressively on defense, as it showed, it makes them turn the ball over, you know, step out of bounds, dribble off of their foot or something like that. So just being, you know, having the fouls to give helped us with defensive aggression and helped us turn them over. Uh, Chris, right here. You're one of the older players on the team. Um, what do you tell your teammates going into the Galen Center and playing the Trojans on Saturday? Um, I mean, it's a big atmosphere. Uh, it's just, you know, it's just another game, you know. I'm going to keep telling them, take it a game at a time. Um, either way, if we get the first round by or not, whether we have to play, you know, three to get to the end or four to get to the end, just take it a game at a time. That's what we've been doing here, you know, taking it seriously on the defensive end, taking care of the ball. That's all we got to do, just make that translate, you know, to Vegas, and we should get the same outcome.
Hi, May. Uh, did today feel any different for you, knowing that you hit the, the game winner last game? And was it kind of special hearing the whole crowd chant, Hi, May, uh, when you're at the free throw line, the final seconds there? Oh, I, I mean, to be honest, I couldn't really. Like, when I'm in a zone like that, I can't really hear anything. Everything just goes quiet. But, you know, uh, like you said, the shot, it, today was another game. You can't really think about that or dwell on that. You got to come out and play this game. So my, my focus was this game. I didn't really care about anything that happened before or anything that's coming up ahead. I just focused on the now and, you know, getting a W versus Arizona. I mean, I'm, I'm interested in uh, uh, load management for you and Tiger in particular. What has Coach done to kind of keep you guys fresh, especially the guys who've never been to a college season before? Like, what did you guys take it pretty easy yesterday? How, how did you guys handle that? Um, yeah, I, we we took it. We I mean, we practice hard no matter what. Um, but it, you know, it's it's on a lot of us to take care of our bodies. You know, make sure we're eating right, taking getting enough sleep. Sleep is a big one. Uh, drinking a lot of water, staying hydrated, and you know, getting in the cold tub. So getting the cold tub is something we do a lot. Hey guys, uh, given where this team was a month and a half ago, say uh, right now, it seems like the NC two A tournaments a very realistic possibility. Just what has just been like for you in terms of just how exciting it's been, you know, the change, radical change in circumstances. Um, just believing in ourselves. Um, I always say, you know, when I'm making shots or whatever it is, it's just because my teammates believe in me, you know. So even when we were eight and nine, we believed that we could we could win games. And, you know, that's what's happening right now. Just us staying together and believing in ourselves, you know, helped us get on this little win streak and, you know, made the NCAA tournament a possibility.